people of this nation have spoken. They've delivered us a clear victory, a convincing victory, a victory for we, the people. We've won with the most votes ever cast on presidential ticket in the history of the nation. So going into this administration, you know, 23% of voters are optimistic about what they expect from a Biden-Harris administration. I think that they have an opportunity here to, to really govern from a pretty low bar to just be able to show what a competent government can do. There's been so many aspects of, 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 of American society where people have just been struggling to make ends meet. They're kind of in the lack of federal leadership leaning, uh, uh, looking towards their, their mayors and their governors to really navigate um, pretty turbulent and volatile times during this pandemic. And Joe Biden, with the uh, benefit of entering office uh, with, the, with the vaccine, really does have an opportunity to, to deliver competent government, to deliver uh, on, on what people have, been, have, have really been uh, craving and, and, and in need for. Specifically, Black voters, though, who really, who Joe Biden ever, you know, ever since Black voters told America who the Democratic nominee was going to be in South Carolina, you know, uh, um, have really leaned in, uh, claimed their political power, demonstrated their their political agency, and I think Black voters more than anyone um, are going to have are going to demand some progress immediately. They're, they're going to want to see the issues that they care the most about, issues like criminal justice reform, like COVID relief, um, like Voting Rights Act. They wanna see uh, uh, th this new democratic Senate who you know, comes on the heels of, of a pretty significant um, uh, uh, black surge in Georgia. They're gonna wanna see that Senate and this Biden-Harris administration deliver for them the way black voters have delivered for Democrats. When you look at the responses to that question, overall 50% uh, of the voters are optimistic or happy or excited, all the positive responses, and 44% elicited some sort of negative response to that. And it is strongly uh, partisan right now. You have uh, Republicans at 78% saying negative things and Democrats 85% positive things. So there's, there's a lot of uh, concern on the Republican side. But I would maybe give it a bit of more of a nuance than that, because when you look at some of the other numbers around Joe Biden right now, even though he was a bit polarized going into the election, in the last few weeks after the election, there's been some more positivity towards him personally and his conduct in particular since November 3rd until now. And so when you ask voters about the Biden administration, particularly Republicans, I think there's some differentiation between Biden himself and what he might do in his administration and what a Biden administration with democratic control of the House and the Senate 
uh, might mean for them in terms of an agenda. So when you look at those Republicans, you see uh, pessimism, you see nervousness standing out as the two uh, emotions that Republicans are responding to in that survey. Uh, you see 10% saying angry, and there's always that ill will. And certainly, uh, it, we saw uh, that pour out into the streets for some of those voters who, uh, you know, were creating uh, insurrection or just protesting in the last week. But I think for the the vast majority of Republicans, uh, there is uh, tentativeness about the Biden and the administration, but there's the concern about what is the agenda that's going to come out of the House and the, and the Senate. And that's where some of those negative feelings are coming from. It's not a, uh, a personal negativity necessarily towards uh, Joe Biden. I mean, right now, uh, Pew just released some numbers showing that uh, Biden has 64% saying uh, he's done, done either an excellent or a good job in the weeks and months after the election. So I differentiate feelings about the president-elect and his administration per se, or just the incoming Democratic control and how Republicans may be reacting a bit more negatively to this concern or nervousness about what might come in terms of legislation. 